welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all on my ayurveda academy youtube channel today's topic is related with uh, the physiology subject and the title of that particular topic is milk laid down reflex this is uh, the video is very short but uh, uh, many people will think sir what is the this small video is meant for the interesting thing is that because of this particular uh, word that i have taken this topic for the discussion because uh, it is asked many times in the previous question papers of bams ayurved bhms homeopathy and bpth that is physiotherapy and many students they just don't understand this particular word milk laid down reflex actually it is nothing a new thing it is already covered in the endocrine system or the hormonal system even it is covered in the homeostasis of positive feedback and this is related with your breast milk and breast milk uh, eject ejection reflex which is related with oxytocin but because of the different terminology many students miss this question and they don't even try this particular simple question that's why i have taken this topic it's a very simple and uh, easy to understand topic that is milk let down reflex the importance is our body is maintained in a particular zone of comfort and that is called as a homeostasis uh, no excess no low can be bo body tolerated so everything should be in the optimal level our body temperature is around 98 degrees fahrenheit if it is 100 and 1 then that is a risky condition if it is below 94 93 92 that is also a, a risky condition so so many things blood glucose level for example uh, 80 to 110 is fasting level 120 mg percent is a, a postprandial level so everything has to be maintained in optimal level not excess and not too low Uh, so this is called as a homeostasis and this homeostasis is maintained by the nervous system as well as by the endocrine system uh, do you understand so but there are two interesting mechanisms which control which gives a signal to the brain to control these activities and that is called as a negative feedback mechanism and positive feedback mechanism 90% uh, our uh, whole physiology is uh, moving around the negative feedback uh, mechanism but this is there are two or three examples which are controlled by positive feedback system so this is one of the example of positive feedback another examples of the delivery that is mean the muscle contraction uterine muscle contraction during the delivery process labor pains that we call it as and another example is a blood clotting so these are the three exceptional examples or rather these are the three examples which indicate the positive feedback system for the homeostasis purpose all the remaining things are controlled by the negative feedback okay so let us start to discuss about milk let down reflex so here we are milk ejection let us start to discuss about breast feeding okay milk ejection is the discharge of the milk from the mammary glands it depends upon the suckling uh, the uh, the newborn baby sucks the baby and suckling exerted by the baby and on contractile mechanism in the breast contractile mechanism which expels milk from the alveoli into the ducts milk ducts of course here we are not talking about lung alveoli here we are talking about the uh, milk uh, structure or milk formation structure milk ejaculation structure in the breast uh, remember so these alveoli and the ducts are related with the milk production and milk uh, what you can say storage purpose milk ejection is a reflex phenomena it is called as a milk ejection reflex or milk let down reflex these are the two synonyms is the same thing don't get confused you will be asked sometime milk right describe milk ejection reflex or you will be asked sometimes milk let down reflex these topics are under various uh, headings it can come in the homeostasis uh, uh, type of the chapter it can come into the endocrine system Uh, it can come under the topic of uh, what you say the negative feed, uh, positive feedback system okay so this is a neuroendocrine reflex there are two things nervous system is also involved and endocrine system is also involved so that is called as a neuroendocrine reflex okay plenty of touch receptors this word is very important we are again talking about uh, 
uh, MCQ, multiple choice question. Uh, always remember, this is the new thing added in the BMS course, first year BMS 2022. NCRSM has designed a new uh, structure of the examination and uh, last say, five, seven years there were no MCQs but now MCQ has been started in the BMS course. Remember this thing from 2022. Okay. So this is a plenty of touch receptors are present on the mammary glands, particularly around the nipple. When the infant suckles mother nipple, the touch receptors are stimulated. Why this is bold? Because it can be asked in the MCQ, which receptors? So these are the touch receptors. Huh? The impulses discharged from the touch receptors are carried by the somatic afferent nerve fibers to paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei of hypothalamus. These are the two areas in the brain. Hypothalamus is a part of the brain and there are specific localities where these signals are going towards the brain. When the nerves are going towards the brain, that is called as afferent nerves. And when they are uh, taking signals from the brain to the periphery, they are called as efferent. One is afferent, second is efferent. Uh, these terms are very important. Afferent towards the brain are also called as sensory system. Sensory system towards the brain. That is called as ascending pathway. What is called? Ascending or afferent pathway. And there are the uh, first order neuron, second order neuron, third order neuron. But when motor system, we are talking about motor system, it is from brain to the periphery, to the hands, mind, legs and uh, viscera and all these things. Okay, So that is a descending system, motor system, descending system. And there are only two steps, first order neuron, second order neuron, or they are also called as a upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. So every time whenever the nervous system comes, Dr. Deshpande repeats, makes a revision of everything about the nervous system. Here we are talking about touch receptors going towards the brain. So when towards the brain, they are always afferent, A double F. And away from the brain, efferent, E double F. Try to make a difference, okay? So these are the somatic afferent nerve fibers. Where they are going? Going towards the hypothalamus. And what are the lo specific localities? Paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei. Okay. Now, hypothalamus, after getting the signal, sends impulse to the posterior pituitary. Nervous system is giving signal to endocrine system. Posterior pituitary through, that is specific tract is there, hypothalamo-hypophysial tract. The, the, uh, the, the tract is connecting hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary. Again, I will repeat the name, hypothalamo-hypophysial tract. Afferent impulses going towards, they cause the release of oxytocin into the blood. After this signal, that posterior pituitary is responsible for secretion of, yes, oxytocin. Seven hormones are secreted from anterior part of the pituitary, like growth hormone, FSH, LH, TSH, all these are from anterior pituitary. And from pituitary, a posterior part of the pituitary, only two hormones. Remember the names, only two hormones. One is oxytocin and what is second? ADH. Yes, exactly. Antidiuretic hormone, ADH. That is also called as a vasopressin. Of course, at this moment, we don't talk about this ADH. We are talking about oxytocin, but I am revising the posterior pituitary. There are only two hormone secretion. Okay. When the hormone reaches the mammary gland, this oxytocin, oxytocin is for two purposes. One is for contraction of the uterus in the delivery, that is labor pain, oxytocin is responsible and for the breast milk secretion, ejection, oxytocin is responsible, okay. It causes, what does it, because of the hormone, contraction of myoepithelial cells, there will be contraction and that will re resulting in ejection of the milk from the mammary glands, okay. As this reflex is initiated, by the nerve factors, that is touch receptors, completed by the hormonal action, that is oxytocin. That is why this is called as a neuroendocrine reflex. Two things are there. One is nervous system, another is an endocrine system. Is it clear? Okay. During this reflex, large amount of oxytocin is released by a positive feedback mechanism. That means the baby sucks touch receptor, going signal, 
oxytocin secrete, it milk ejection is there. Okay. Again, milk sucking. Again, ref stretch receptors taking the signals to the brain. Hypothalamus. Again, signal to the posterior pituitary oxytocin. How much time? That means more and more and more coming, going signal, coming out, going signal, coming out. Till what time it will continue? Till the baby is sucking. When the baby is out from the nipple, naturally this cycle will break and there will be stoppage of the breast milk. So this is called as a positively stimulation to the brain. That is why this is positive feedback mechanism. Next. Here you can see this. Uh, that's why I have told you. It's a very short and uh, simple thing. Here you can see the suckling of the baby, stimulation of the receptors in the nipple. First, it go to the spinal cord. And from spinal cord, it can go to the supraoptic nucleus. Can you see here? Paraventricular nucleus. This is a part of the hypothalamus. Okay. And this particular nerve fibers are called as a hypothalamo, hypophysial tracts. These tracts. Okay. And this is a part of the posterior pituitary and from posterior pituitary the oxytocin will be secreted and that oxytocin here again you can see contraction of the myoepithelial in the breast and milk ejection will take place. So this is a positive going from here up to here is a nervous system and again from here is a endocrine system. So two systems are there nervous system endocrine system nervous system see the cursor endocrine system. So this is a very uh, short but important topic for your examination purpose. That's why I have discussed all this matter with you. I hope you are enjoying these my physiology videos or the muscle physiology video. Please share these videos to all your friends. Of course, that is a, a giving knowledge is always a, a work of nice thing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. I have for folding my hands because it gives you me boosting of energy of Professor Deshpande. So please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button icon to get the intimation of fantastic, superb and very simple language. Professor Deshpande is explaining the herbology also, then the medicine formation, medicine classes are there. I have my uh, mobile app also. Please download that uh, app is the same name, Ayurveda Academy. Uh, I, wish, I uh, wish that you will like that particular app and you will enjoy the different programs Paid programs are there, but uh, download is free. Please, uh, Ayurveda Academy, go to the Google Play Store and you will get that particular app. Thank you very much and I wish you all the best for your examination purpose and for your career. See you in the next video. Thank you.